everybody. Chris Cummins here of Glow Imagery, Kansas City Portrait Photography Studio. I'm the owner, chief photographer here. And uh, I'm up on my tippy toes here because we had to do kind of a funny angle for this one. But in today's video, I was going to talk to you a little bit about how to take care of your canvas gallery wraps, how to clean them, how to maybe properly position them in your home so that they give you a lifetime, multiple lifetimes of enjoyment and, and value. So first off, people ask me, this is how, <laughs> trying to get cute. <laughs> people ask, how do I clean the canvas gallery wrap? What kind of uh, cleaning chemicals and those kinds of things can I put on there? to uh, just kind of keep the dust and, and some of the, uh, really, it's really dust is the major problem there for canvas gallery wraps. And here's what you do, I'll show you. I'm going to take just basically a, uh, a rag like this one and just put water on it. Just dampen it, wring it out so that it's just slightly damp. You don't want it soaking wet. You just come on up Go like this, just give a nice white motion on top. This is where most of your dust is going to be. Ew. Uh, just wipe it like that. You don't want to use any kind of cleaning products or, you know, like a, a, any kind of dust chemicals or anything like that because uh, those things can interact with the UV, the ultraviolet protection that's on your canvas gallery wrap. And the UV protection is there to protect it against uh, uh, light damage and discoloration that happens over time. If you remember like a, a, lot, of, a lot of the blockbuster type video stores back in the day, they would have a bank of, of, of movie cases that were sitting in the front window. And over time, they would turn blue. And that's because all the light would come in there and slowly over time start breaking down those, those uh, printed images that were on the DVD cases. Well, the same thing is true for your print, and that's why whenever you're hanging it, you want to make sure you put it in a place, hang it in a place in your home, that does not have direct sunlight falling right on that print, because over time that will just do a lot of damage to that print. So we want to make sure it's in a relatively uh, uh, away from direct sunlight. So, you know, so that's why we want to make sure we just use water on a cloth, because that UV protection they spray on there to help keep a nice barrier over those colors and tones on your print, we want to make sure that that thing um, stays intact. So we just want to use water on a, on a rag to clean it off. So. Forgetting something else here. Uh, also, when hanging, deciding where to place your artwork, you want to make sure you put it in a place that does not have a whole lot of, of uh, extreme temperatures or a lot of humidity. Because humidity will cause that print to, to sort of wrinkle and sag a little bit. And it will lose that real taut, uh, that real tight uh, fixture we want onto that canvas frame. And so it'll, it'll, it just, it'll be an unsightly appearance. Now if that kind of thing happens, email me, call me. I can teach you kind of how to rejuvenate it. We don't need to make a new one. Um, in most cases, we don't. But just keep it out of those environments that have a lot of high temperatures, low temperatures, or, or a lot of crazy humidity. That's going to help you really keep this print in your family as, a, as an heirloom for generations. So, this is Chris Cummins, Glow Imagery. Thank you for watching our video. Uh, please subscribe to our newsletter, and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.